Hi, my name is Jake Lowe, and I spent the summer comparing hydrogen and NADPH at Velocity Hydrothermal Field. We wanted to know if hydrogen could function as an alternative to NADPH in early evolution and in modern extreme environments. This was fueled by a hypothesis that in hydrogen-rich environments such as Velocity, hydrogen was acting as a reducing agent for biosynthesis and could potentially be replacing the function of NADPH in some cells. To look at this, we had metagenomes and metagenome-assembled genomes from the velocity hydrothermal field, which had been annotated with k orthologs. We also have KEG APIs for enzymes associated with NADPH and hydrogen function. By comparing these lists, we were able to pull out NADPH and hydrogen-associated KOs from our metagenomes and our metagenome-assembled genomes. This led us to our figure two, which was made using the metagenome-assembled genomes, uh, which is an ACDF plot comparing NADPH on the left and hydrogen on the right. For both of these, we used KEG genomes as a control group, and on the x-axis here is the proportion of the entire genome that is encoding NADPH or hydrogen functions, respectively. And if we look at this left plot for NADPH, we see that the lost city genomes are shifted to the left. And this indicates a depletion in NADPH-related function. We see the opposite for the lost city on the right, where it's shifted to the right. And this indicates that there is an enrichment in hydrogen-related function, which is right in line with our hypothesis and is a really interesting preliminary result. This also led to the creation of figure three, which is a volcano plot, where we compared the metagenomes for high and low hydrogen environments. And what is really interesting, if we look at the top left and right of the plot here, we see that there is an enrichment in hydrogen KOs in the low hydrogen environment. And the same is true for NADPH in the high hydrogen environment, which is somewhat counterintuitive, but this could potentially be because microbes in the low hydrogen environment are metabolizing that hydrogen and artificially decreasing the level of hydrogen in that sample. Uh, but that's all speculation, and this will require extensive follow-up work to actually substantiate these preliminary results. And so if you have any questions about any of these figures or any of the methods or anything else, feel free to reach out to me on Slack, and thank you for listening to my talk.